and views. Mark, I wouldn't have any subscribers if it wasn't for you, but but let, forget about numbers because let's talk about engagement. Your YouTube channel gets more engagement than CNN. You you make fun of Brian Stelter. You outlasted Brian Stelter. You're still on top. You're still one of the top guys on YouTube, and you're a person that I look up to and I want to emulate. So before you go, Mark, what is one of the most controversial things you want to say? Now, you have the blaze. You have carte blanche. Before you go, say something controversial. And please come on again. I know you're super busy. I know you don't do hardly any interviews. So thank you. I'm from the bottom of my heart. But leave us with something spicy, uh, you know, before you go. You know, it might be time for the queers to get back in the closet. <laughs> wow. But wait, wait, Mark, I got to say this. I was just trying to formulate a joke. Somebody told me it used to be a big deal to come out as gay in Hollywood. Now it's a bigger deal to come out as conservative in Hollywood. So That's way bigger. That's dangerous. That's a career killer right there. I mean, you're, you're finished. Yeah, so, so if you're a conservative, stay in the closet. If you're gay, let your freak flag fly is what they want. So you want to do the opposite. Where you can be proud to be conservative. Go back in the closet if you want to bang. I'm tired of hearing them. You know, just, just stay away from sports. Stay away from the beer commercials. Just They can do their thing. They can have their fun. But I'm just, you know, I, I think I speak for a lot of people. It's like, okay, enough is enough. <laughs> I, I want my no, Bud Light. I'm tired of hearing from you. Yeah, I just want my Bud Light sold to me not from a transvestite. If that's too much to ask for, I'm Sorry, Bud Light, but I don't need a transvestite selling me your beer. All right. I'm so fly, I'm with the planes. My grind's so refined, I got no time for no games.